guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing BM Tune or BM Devs B emulator for the OBD1 ECU. Um, as mentioned in the previous video, BM Tune or BM Devs is a retailer out in Quebec, Canada. Uh, he sells a lot of fantastic products for the OBD1 ECU. So if you guys are in the market for like chip kits or retail conversion kits or emulators or chip burners, all that good stuff, Check out his website. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. He sells a lot of good stuff for the OB1 ECU for fantastic prices, which is where I purchased my B emulator from. Uh, what the B emulator is, is a real-time programmer for the OBD1 ECU. So it's kind of like uh, what you guys are familiar with, which is, which is the Motes Ostrich. However, the only difference with this um, is it's missing um, data logging, which we could easily use um, that trick that I showed you guys with the data logging cable in one of the previous videos. So let's just get started and we're going to start installing the BM Tune um, B emulator. All right, guys, so here's what how the B emulator is packaged. It's kind of put into the same packaging as the USB cable. This is the USB cable that you're going to be plugging into the emulator to do your your programming and uh, all that. So we'll set this aside. We'll be using this later when we do set up the map. The B emulator comes in this packaging here. It's all wrapped nicely. I did open it already, so that's why it's all loose. Um, but this is basically the B emulator here, as you can see. Looks very nice and cool. Um, essentially what it is, is it's just you plug this into where the socket goes. And this will mimic your chip and you could do real-time programming. This is where you'll plug in your USB cable and the, the outside obviously goes into your computer. It'll come with these pins here, which you'll need to use to um, plug into the socket of the ECU. So the ECU we're gonna be working on today is RP06 ECU that we just put the VTEC conversion kit on. So as you see, here is where the socket's supposed to be, um, or this is where the socket is actually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and we're gonna plug the pins in there. It should be 28 pins, um, so 14 on each side. And it looks like it came with some extra pins. I'm not sure why, but um, could be for some other purpose, but essentially, We're gonna just, I think, I believe we all we need is these pins here. We stick them in the socket or we stick them on the board first, I believe. So they go right into these holes here. So we'll do that real quick. Like so. And that is how it's already pinned out. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the board here. Essentially, you're gonna have to notch out the ECU so that you can fit the cable in, but that's not a problem. I'd rather notch a P06 than my P28. Um, so we're just going to line this up and clip it right into where the socket goes. So being careful not to bend any of the pins or any of that. And then just clip it in like that. And just make sure it's seated properly. So, you know, there you go. I mean, the other method of doing this is to um, essentially just uh, solder those pins right onto this board. However, this is already socketed, so I'd rather just clip it in. So now it's just it's installed. So I'm gonna mark off where I need to notch this, and then we're going to notch it out. Uh, I will be running my um, clear cover on here, so probably have to cut the clear cover a little bit just so that this clears. Um, but essentially that's how it goes on. It looks pretty cool, pretty neat. And then the data logging port is right here that I have to you know, plug in my cable. Um, I am not sure where this goes. I don't think, I think it just might just be spare. Uh, pins that he left. All right, so next we're gonna notch out the ECU here so that we can plug in the USB cable. So I'm gonna get a Sharpie and just mark it off a little bit. There we go. Um, now I'm gonna bring this downstairs and we're gonna just use, uh, I guess, 
something, a cutting tool or whatever, just to cut it and notch it out. But before we do that, I guess what I'm going to do is pull the whole board out. I don't want to get any of that uh, metal fragments or any of that stuff into the ECU board. So the easy way to do this is you're going to flip over the ECU and you're going to undo it again. All right, so to remove the board out of here, um, you're gonna start with this corner over here, just undoing that screw, which is holding down one of the um, high sides or the switches here. Um, so that way this is disconnected. Then on the back here, we're gonna undo all these little screws. So before we start doing all that, I'm gonna remove the B emulator and you could just easily detach it as, you know, just pull up. Set that aside. Now I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna just undo all these screws. So that. Next, we're gonna undo all these screws on the bottom here. Just like that. Now the board should be loose for us to pop it right out. Just like that. And the board comes off. So when handling boards, it's best to have yourself grounded. If you're not grounded, I usually use um, gloves. That way it prevents any of the static electricity a little bit. But the best way is obviously have a grounding bracelet. So now we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna cut this notch out. That's notched. All right, guys. So now the notch fits perfectly. As you can see, tune is in there. Um, I plugged in the cable. Now all we have to do is plug this into our laptop and we can start tuning from there. So this will work with a variety of software. I'm gonna be showing you guys on Honda Tuning Suite how to set this up. It's essentially the same thing as setting up the Ostrich. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and run one of the base maps that I've already prepared to, um, or partially tuned on my car using the chip and burn method. So now we could fine tune the map using uh, this RTP here. So let's go ahead and set this up in the car. So here's my P28 ECU, as you can see. Just unplugged it. This one has the map that I created for the Y8 on it. So we're gonna be uploading the same map on here so that we could basically tweak it. So now we're gonna install the P06, which is right here. I've got the data logging cable already hooked up to it. So we're just gonna plug it in down here. Uh, I can only do that with two hands. So we're gonna plug it in and then we're gonna set up the laptop and then we're gonna go into the Honda tuning suite and set it all up. All right, so here's the P06. As you can see, P06, um, and it's all plugged in. Um, now I'm just gonna plug it into the laptop. Before we hook this up, I'm gonna set you, show you guys how to determine your COM port, just like how we did it with the data logger. So we're gonna switch to laptop screen mode, and then uh, we'll start setting everything up. All right, so to start things off, guys, you're gonna go into your device manager, and under this ports area, this is what you're gonna be watching for. So I'm gonna plug in the uh, B emulator on the opposite side of the um, data logger, cause I don't wanna use the same port for it. And as you can see, it loads up to COM port eight. So just remember COM port eight, go into the port settings and you wanna set it to the maximum, which is the 921600. I think it's set to like uh, 38400 as default, but you want it at 921600. Go to OK. Now you can close out of this. Now you can open up your Honda Tuning Suite.
and it would pull up obviously an old map uh, or a map that I was working on. This is the map that I've, I was working on. So we're going to go into settings and we're going to set up the emulator. So what you want to do is you put the emulator as mode ostrich and you don't want it to smart scan because it just does, that doesn't work and you want to set it to com port 8. And then all you do is just close out of this and it will save the settings. Now, we've got the emulator, so we can connect. Let's open a new map. Yes. So as you can see, the emulator is activated right now. So real-time updating is, is uh, we can actually do that. Um, now we can upload this ROM because obviously this is the map that I was running with. And that's it. It's uploaded. Emulator is connected, as you can see down here. You look at your debug logs as well. Um, it will show that it's been connected, as you can see. It's found on there. Done uploading. Um, let's just double check our settings here. Yep, everything is good. And I've, we've got real-time updating on. So now we're ready to basically tune. So with this map that I've already been... Um, popped in here we are well I'll also connect my data logger and then we'll fire up the car just so that you guys can see everything let's plug this in there you go that is all set up right now I'm gonna just turn on the car real quick there you go it's fired up now we'll turn on data logger and as you can see, everything is being logged now. Oh, back to tables. We we'll go to our AFR. As you can see, it's being logged. That's my AFR that I wanted to um, target. That's the AFR difference right now, but it is cold, right? So it's running obviously a little bit more rich to warm up the vehicle. But as you can see, the BM tune, um, the BM, BM tunes B emulator is working just fine. Now I'm just going to turn off the car and that's basically how we would uh, set this thing up. The other thing is once you plug in the um, cable onto your USB port on the laptop, you see that green light, it comes on. So that shows that this emulator is on and is active. All right guys, so that's basically it for this video. We've set up the B emulator um, from BM Tune or BM Devs. As mentioned, you guys can check out his store. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Sell some pretty cool stuff and this thing works pretty well and it's flawless right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start tuning my car. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.